Heidi, I have my thoughts and opinions on a, um, Siren's Curse collected, and I'm ready to make a video on this amazing new coaster coming out of nowhere. Was there anyone in the roller coaster community that thought that Cedar Point was getting a roller coaster in 2025. I have to give credit to Theme Park Predictions. Um, I watch his videos, and to be honest, when he made a video the other day um, to throw myself under the bus and give him credit, and he talked about how he thought a coaster was coming to Cedar Point in 2025, I literally rolled my eyes and was like, there's no possible way. Um, there's not enough land clearing going on over in that announced um, flume ride, Shoot the Shoot, that was removed. And I just didn't see it happening, but lo and behold, it's happening. So to give him credit, I think he's one of the only people that I saw calling um, after that teaser got posted, a roller coaster was coming. So um, kudos to you. I definitely didn't see it coming. I thought it was going to be a flat ride or a water um, slide because I know that Cedar Point is eyeing a water park expansion. But nonetheless, what are my thoughts on this ride? So for those of you who don't know, Cedar Point is um, building a tilt coaster called Siren's Curse. For the 2025 season, it'll open up with their other new for 2025 roller coaster, Top Thrill 2. So Cedar Point is literally becoming like the roller coaster capital of the world. This is one of the most diverse and just like awesome collection of roller coasters that I could possibly think of for a singular park. Um, to be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of Cedar Point as someone who loves theming, but that opinion is getting tarnished by just this amazing lineup of coasters that you can't ignore. So the Siren's Call, or sorry, the Siren's Curse um, is 160 foot tall, 58 mile per hour, two minute long tilt coaster by Vacoma. Um, it appears to be the, the tilt coaster that got passed down to Six Flags Mexico um, from Energylandia. Um, that is an assumption. I, I know that's probably the case, but I don't have any concrete um, proof that this is that but that is what I'm hearing online that's what it looks like it's the same layout so it looks like Cedar Fair or Cedar Point has swiped this from Six Flags Mexico um, it's like a Yukon striker situation all over again swiping coasters from other parks um, but yeah um, do I think this was planned or do I think this was last minute I do not think this was last minute and that might shock people um, so if, for those of you that don't know there was the relocation of dorms um, and this is kind of where that coaster is going to be sitting. So I definitely think this was a lot more planned than people think. Um, so I think that this wasn't something that because of Top Thrill 2, this is what's happening. Um, I think that Cedar Point has a rapid expansion plan like other parks that I'm hearing in the chain, Kings Island, Canada's Wonderland, and Carowinds. Um, and when you have rapid expansion plans, when you have a problem with a ride like Top Thrill 2, that's not going to put delays in your expansion plan. You're going to want to keep moving forward with it because you have a deadline for that expansion plan. Now, that is all Amusement Insider's assumptions, and that's not concrete evidence that I am presenting to you guys. So please take that with a grain of salt. Um, but that is just my opinions on what you're seeing. You're not seeing this because of Top Thrill 2. This is just Cedar Point has an expansion plan timeline, and they're continuing forward. Um, regardless of what's going on with Top Thrill 2. Um, with that being said, um, a lot of people have been asking my opinion of this compared to Alpen Fury. And I have to say, Cedar Point, in my opinion, is definitely getting the better roller coaster for 2025 season. I had a little hope that Wonderland might be able to win the Golden Ticket Award with such high competition out there. Again, there was probably very little chance. But there's definitely no chance now, in my opinion. Cedar Point will probably take that um, over Canada's Wonderland, but there's other parks that might even take that over Cedar Point. With that being said, let's talk capacity. So this ride also has two trains, so a lot of people are like, oh, the capacity, the capacity. Well, it's got a longer duration, and I've seen some people online talking about how the capacity might only be around 600 because of that ride duration and only two trains. I'm here to talk about the fact that this ride has a lift hill, and when you have a lift hill, it acts as a block break. So while the other ride train is going through the course, if they load that second train, they can actually start it along its journey heading up that lift hill because it acts like a block break. So yes, there's still going to be some sort of lower capacity with only two trains because you could be loading a third train while two trains, you know, one train's going up the lift and the other train's going through the course. 
So a third train would benefit a ride like this, but without it, um, the capacity could still be around the 600 to 840 range um, based off of a mathematical equation. Uh, but don't quote me on that. I haven't gone deep dived into that like I did with um, Alpen Fury quite yet. Um, if I'm to suggest any content creator to watch about capacity and their thoughts on this ride, it would 100% be El Toro Ryan or Coaster Studios. They're 100% going to give a much better perspective on their thoughts on this ride than someone like me. Um, who's a lot more theme park oriented. But with that being said, it's definitely a well-rounded ride. I'm super excited about it. It's definitely the better ride for 2025 in the Cedar Fair parks. Super jealous or envious of this coaster. Um, and yeah, I think that's all I have to say. Oh, I love the lighting package. The lighting package that the trains have and that onboard audio with that siren's call as the tilting platform is tilting. Chef's kiss. Love it definitely um, super envious of this pick. Anyways, thanks so much for watching today's video and my slight analysis on this ride. Have a good one, guys. Bye.